Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another New World video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about AoE healing in a full commentary format. We have the war starting in five minutes, but before I move on, I do want to show you guys my gear today. We are not rocking the Keen Beacon perk on our armor or weapon, unfortunately, but I did buy some new pieces of gear that I want to test out, so this is the war that I'm going to test it out in. It is a very big, important war today. We are facing Dawn Guard versus Trap Chat. Okay, so I'm, I'm warring for Trap Chat. We are going against Dawn Guard. These are the two biggest companies right now currently on Yggdrasil of West Coast. So let's get moving forward with the gear here. So we have the medium helmet with resilient, refreshing evasion, and physical aversion. We have the new and improved light chest that I have been searching for, resilient, refreshing evasion, and freedom. We have the medium gloves, resilient, refreshing evasion, elemental aversion, and the new light pants as well. Freedom, Elemental Aversion, and Refreshing Evasion. So we are dropping one Resilient in this build for the extra piece of Freedom here. I did drop it. We are down to four Resilient now instead of five. But this is the ward I'm going to test it out in. This is going to be a great sword, slow, like, Ice Scalant slow kind of counter build. I don't really know how to put it, but we have a lot of stuns and slows in this meta. So I want to build a Freedom set, and this is the ward I'm going to try it out in. And we all obviously have the Fortifying Secret Ground Boots. Here is the Amulet. Here is the Ring. Here is the earring. And last but not least, we have the most important part of our build, the blessed, refreshing move, Mending Protection Life Staff. And of course, can't forget this shitty ass rapier, Sunday Ringer Post, but you know what? It's okay, baby. And then we got the Greater Heart Rune of Stone Form as well. And obviously our Consumes, Health Pot, Mana Pot, Regen Pot, and Oak Flesh. But we do have the war starting in three minutes here, so I'm going to fast forward this video, and I will catch you guys in the war. Or right, actually, I trolled you guys real quick, but I do want to show you my AoE healing build. So here is my Life Staff build. Here is the rapier build that I'm using today with the life staff. And obviously we have our attributes here, 50 constitution and 418 focus. But we're going to pop a focus food here, which we do not have. Okay, we got our homie. I'm that brick to trade us some food here. So we are not going to be missing out on this 40 focus food today. Brick, thank you so much, brother. So as I said, we should be at 458 focus. Here we go, 458. Let's get it, baby. We got two minutes till the war starts. This time, for real, I will catch you guys in a bit, so peace, baby. All right, we do have 10 seconds before the war. We're going to be popping Intensify here for the three stacks. We're going to be tossing an orb on our boys, and we are going to pop our Haste Potion. <gasps> haste Potions! We don't have Haste Potions, but we don't have time. Oh, my goodness. I have been caught up in the loop here. Anyways, the war is starting, boys. So, we did get an orb off of our team here. We're going to try to stack Intensify out the gate here to make sure we have that 30% healing bonus. Okay, we got one stack. And it looks like there's a lot of fighting going on here. We're going to wait till the end fight starts, and we're going to pop all our healing cooldowns. Okay, we got our beacon and sacred in there. Should be good for now. Doesn't look like I got too much value out of that. Our intensify is falling out, so we're going to repop our intensify, hopefully, here. We are missing every single auto in the book here. Looks like there is a lot of pressure on the point here, boys. Okay, we are going to be trying to heal this point as much as possible. Right side, left side, any top of side here. It looks like all their kill squads are forming on the left side here of the, of the points. It looks like we're going to pop our Oak Flesh and Regen Potion just to keep them rolling here. We got to repop our Intensify as well. We did not get the Heavy Attack, but we see these Melee Light Squads and Dive Squads hitting our backline currently right now. We have to heal here. We have to help our team right now on the point. It is massive. We are losing this point, unfortunately, here on the backside. Our boys need to get up here. We got to make sure that we're popping all of our spells as well. Oh my goodness, this war is looking like a really good war so far. We did lose our Intensify stacks again. We got our stacks back here. We're going to keep healing this left side as well. Make sure we're healing everybody with this 30% healing buff. And we're going to be good to go here. Okay, we're going to pop a regen potion. We don't need to pop uh, mana pot yet because we are not taking any damage. I found so far right now that I have not been needing to take any mana potions if I just have uh, my regen pot always rolling. So that's good to know. Looks like there's a lot of damage going on on this bottom right field. We're going to keep tossing our sacreds on the back line here as well. There is a lot of clumps forming. Our sacreds are ticking for like almost 1,500 right now. This is massive. We're going to restack our intensify here. We ended up getting a kill, which is massive. We're going to try to put a beacon on the top of this point here. Looks like there is a lot of damage being taken up there as well. Okay, we got our full cooldowns down. We're, get, we're getting zero pressure right now in the back lane. We are healing for free. Okay, we're going to put our sacred up here as well. We're going to toss our orb and beacon as well. We're going to try to move inside here to make sure that we get this in there directly. We're getting shot by muskets as well. So we're going to be popping region potions. And we're going to keep tossing our sacreds in there as well. How are we doing on the healing side of things? It's not look like we are doing too hot. It looks like we missed a bunch of sacreds and uh, bad beacons at the start of this war. We did not get the first clump healed as well as I thought we were going to be. But it's okay. We are all running rapiers, so we don't have the void gauntlet out. Uh, anyways, we're going to keep healing here. Looks like our whole left side is completely wiped. And our right side as well needs some help here. We're going to restack intensify. Hopefully before we can throw our life staff abilities out. Okay, we got it. 
Let's go, let's go. Right now, we are not taking any pressure. The bottom right side is still taking massive heat. Bottom of point is going really, really, really good here. Our team is looking like they're holding it down. But to the left side under ramparts, we do see their muskets starting to form, which is going to be bad news for us if we do want to keep healing here as they can start shooting us for free. So we got to be very careful. It looks like they're already starting to aim at me. So I'm going to pop my region and stone form here just before they start shooting me, which is going to be good for us. And it looks like these clumps still forming here on the bottom side have not been completely dismantled. We are still waiting for our team to move forward and get up here as well. Right now, the bottom right of the point is still extremely massive. This is crazy, boys. This is a back and forth fight between some of the best on West Coast here. It is looking like a very, very solid war here. Okay, they called me out comps here. I got to pop regen potions and everything before I pop all my life stuff cooldowns as well. I do have my mana potion. We're going to pop it here just to make sure our mana is healthy as well. And we do need to restack intensify here off Voltaire. I don't think we ended up getting it. Okay, we can stack it up again up here as well. Big clump back here. Hopefully, how's our healing looking? Okay, nice. We're at 500k, which is pretty good for a rapier healer. I think Payton up there as well is going to be running the Void Gauntlet today. So I'm going to be trying to heal against the Void Gauntlet. Both sides of the war right now are completely stacked with melee. All the clumps are looking extremely well. So it's going to be a battle of who can keep up the team the best here, me or Peyton. Right now, so far, I am not very fond of my sacred placements. We have not gotten a lot of good sacreds, but that is okay. We still have time to come back here. We're going to pop our regen potion and oak flesh as well as our stone form. As you saw there, we got shot by the muskets almost instantly. We're going to pop our... Uh, healthy toast as well. We're going to just focus by these muskets. The point is utterly filled with people to heal right now. Oh my goodness, boys. Okay, we're going to pop our rapier here and try to get out of this clump here. Right now, the right side of the point is safe as you see them spawning from the point here as well. We're going to restack our intensify to make sure this clump here is getting healed for 30% extra. Right now, let's go, let's go. Okay, bottom right point is looking good. Bottom left point looks like they're spawning there. Let's check Wargate here. So far, Wargate looks to be seemingly uncontested three stack intensify here as well we want to make sure that we have this up always we, we do have beacon coming up here but i can't really heal the clump here as well so we're going to move up closer to them as well and we're going to move out slowly with the stone form we don't want to get cc'd as we're moving out we're going to try to limit our deaths as much as possible here we're going to check our healing as well okay nice we caught up to pay in with the rapier which is extremely good and it looks like these clumps are forming here on the point extremely well. Backline is looking very, very dangerous as here. We're going to move up into the front of the point because our black backline is starting to look very, very dangerous as well. And it looks like we need a lot of health back here. I'm going to try to start tossing some heals back here as well. I want to double dodge here. Unfortunately, I stamped myself, but I did not get hit by the plague's, plague's uh, splitting grenades. So that's good as well. Oh my goodness, boys. This point is looking very, very massive. We're going to stack our intensify. And we are going to make sure the back of this point is healed as well. We're trying to stack our heals as much as possible, but there is just so much to heal. We're going to pop our Oakflesh as we're going into enemy territory here. We don't want to get caught out as well. Unfortunately, Sacra Intensify. We want to keep healing this backline here. The backline looks like it needs the most amount of healing currently. Pop a Mana Potion as well. The point is looking quite mighty fine here. Right now, it's looking like the, perp the people who are attacking this company are having a very, very hard time trying to move through here on the point. Right now, Trap Chat has one of the strongest kill squads out there. Okay, I got killed here. My bad. As I was saying, Trap Chat has one of the strongest kill squads right now in the game. But as you saw there, my position was terrible as I entered enemy territory. We do need to buy some hay squads here, though. But as I got caught up talking about Trap Chat, the enemy side does have amazing kill squads as well. We need to get back out there and make sure we keep pumping these heals. We do not want to be far behind at all. It looks like actually our back line is going to be some of the safest spots to stand regardless of how it's looking right now. Okay, we're going to try to get our intensified and pop this sacred as well. I need to hit a heavy attack. Okay, we got it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we want to keep making sure that the back line is nice and healthy here. Pop a region potion, pop an oak flesh as well. Right now, we got to make sure we are getting out of this. We're getting staggered completely. We need to move up. We need to move up. The back line is starting to get extremely pressured once more. We're going to heal the point here as well. Are they still in our back line? They are still fucking up our back line, which is very unfortunate. I'm going to pop Oak Flesh here. Sorry, Stone Form. I don't want to get staggered as I'm trying to move out here. I'm trying to find a safe spot to heal, but there is just nowhere safe to heal. Our back line is getting rammed. Everywhere is getting rammed currently. 
we're gonna have to walk through here pop a health potion pop a mana potion and try to get back to healing these clumps as well okay things are looking good things are looking good they're looking better for us in the back line here but the point is starting to struggle see once you start killing trap chats healers once you start killing their decks once you start killing their kill squads they are pretty much unfortunate to fight they have really one of, i don't think they have one of the weakest main balls but their strength does not lie in fighting with the main ball okay their strength lies in killing healers pressuring people and as you can see here once they started pressuring our kill squads pressuring our healers then that means we started losing the point as well okay because we lost the most strongest part of our our army there all right we want to make sure that we are we are one of the first people here to the point it looks like we are we're going to keep tossing orbs as much as possible to make sure that our team is nice nice and healthy Okay, we got we do have three sacks of intensify. It looks like a clump is starting to form, so we're gonna toss our sacred there and orb as well. It looks like they ended up leaving, which is okay. And another clump is about to form here as well, so we probably should have saved our cooldowns. That is one tip right there. Make sure you save your cooldowns for certain clumps, okay? You don't want to be busting your cooldowns unnecessarily as well. Because you never know what's going to happen. Okay, we're losing we're losing our intensify sacks. We ended up getting them up here. Okay, we're gonna pop oak flesh here and regen. And make sure the point is once again nice and healthy okay we're trying to just manage this point here right side is looking dangerous point is looking dangerous looks like where i'm standing is seems to be decent enough but we do want to keep moving around just in case as you guys can see i'm healing in their points of or sorry, their side of the point right now which looks to be some of the safest spots to stand our back line once again is just getting completely rammed by these guys these guys really love hitting our back line and all of the healers that are standing back there that have been standing back there since the entirety of this game needs to start moving up towards the enemy side of the point if our side of the point is not safe we need to start moving up to our side of the point and make sure that we are not consistently dying to the enemies pushing through our back line as you can see they are sending their response straight to our back line there is no reason to go back there right now currently the right side of the point looks like to be one of the safest spots to stand we're going to try to put our sacred up here as well nice we got our beacon in there as well with the sacred hopefully our team is standing inside that and if not we got to make sure we place it in a spot where it's going to be 100 percent of the time healing all of our allies okay so our back lane looks to be a little safe here safer than it was before same with the right side okay we are doing quite mighty fine right now we're gonna keep popping regions off cooldown there's a big clump forming here we, we want to have our beacon there as well nice we got it in there looks like our team actually got wiped there from the den it's from our enemy we are starting to get pressured back here we want to move back here we did pop our oak flesh but yeah as you see there the great swords are just insanely massive we probably sh should have started moving away from the point as soon as we saw that it was starting to die but i did not see those great swords there starting to put so much pressure in our uh, opposite bonfire side so we do have four seconds on the respawn we will be going back here as soon as we can okay we got one second we got to pop our his push and get out there you got to make sure we are keeping up with the heals and we also got to make sure that we notice these backline dive squads right now two of my deaths have because have been because of my awareness and not noticing who is where and what is currently being the high prioritized spot of the war we want to make sure we have our intensify stacks up here and we do just want to make sure that we are keeping up with the heals here how far behind are we we are at that, like probably about 100k behind because of that death there which is very unfortunate but it is a-okay we can still catch up easily we are we are running rapier so naturally our heals are going to be lower than a very good void gauntlet player just like peyton is and we want to make sure that our heals are not getting overlapped as well but we also want to make sure that our heals are getting focused in these clumps so we're going to be popping our oak flesh here and regen potion i do see those musket shots coming through and we want to make sure that we are not getting targeted as hard by these musket squads we're going to keep healing this right side of the point here we're going to move back a little bit we're going to pop our stone form because we did get slowed there and we want to make sure that these healers here that are a little bit in front of us are not eating our beacons as well so once our sacreds and beacons are up we want to look to aim towards the actual clump of players to heal because unfortunately i think i did hit a lot of my beacons on allies we're gonna actually get closer to this point to toss some good beacons here but a lot of my beacons this war have been actually eaten by the healers okay we're gonna pop a region here it's off cooldown it's looking like the respawns are still coming in hard from left side and we do have our beacon coming up as well like i said we want to move in the clump here and heal it this clump is extremely massive right now but there is a lot of people healing it so our heals are actually getting like overlapped with the other healers and they're actually not getting much value at all as you see there we repositioned here and we ended up getting that big fat orb of protection in the clump there 
right now it's looking pretty 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 solid right now okay we ended up wiping them off the points but right now let's we can just only hope that this will last well because once the war starts getting a little uh lower down on the on the time here about 10 minutes that is when respawns start getting extremely long okay and that is when it starts to get very dangerous in the war right because once respawns are very short that is when people start looking to dive the point kill the healers more and you just got to be very aware at that point i was lucky enough to have some of the lowest respawn times in this war and we want to make sure that that keeps happening okay we had two very bad deaths especially with rapier we should really never be dying with the rapier but unfortunately we did and we got to make sure that we are keeping up our intensified stacks as well Okay, we, we did see custom stats trying to hit me there, but as you guys saw, I did pop my stone form. We are getting pressured by these melee dive squads. Looks like our opposite bonfire is not safe, so we're going to move towards our backline a little bit here. Right now, our backline seems to be a little more safe than the opposite bonfire. I did get caught up last time the enemies were on the opposite bonfire, and I did not rotate fast enough or notice when to rotate. So like I said before, guys, you guys have to make sure you are being very aware of what is happening in this war. Usually in the war comms, your war leader will be calling out safe spots to stand for healers. But before he calls it out, you should be actively looking where to stand before that happens. Okay, we're going to keep looking to our left here because we are in kind of a weird position where they can still easily gank us from the left side here as our team is moving up towards the, uh, the southeast here. So as we move here, we're going to keep popping our regen potions. We got to make sure these clumps are nice and healed. Hey, we actually did ma massively get a lead here at heals. We have two deaths. Payton has four. Timmy Nolan, the other yellow AOE healer here, is down 200k. It looks like he was keeping up with me, but he did end up dying. Mystery White here. I tried to block one of his abilities there. He's trying to kill and pat off some healers in the back here. Mystery White, what are you doing, brother? Get your ass back in the main fight. We're going to pop our oak flesh, pop our regen potion here. When I say pop my oak flesh into pop my regen potion, that means I'm popping my oak flesh first. You never want to pop a regen potion when you are taking an oak flesh first. You always want to pop your oak flesh and then your regen potion, okay? So the fighting is continuing here on the bottom side of the point. The bonfire is taking some massive pressure. As you guys see here, they just sent almost their entire team to come into our back line, okay? We got to make sure we stack this intensify. We have not been stacking our intensify. Okay, we ended up getting it here. We're going to move up. We're going to move up here. And we need to make sure we're moving up here towards the point and healing the big clumps in the back here as well. It looks like they're not putting much pressure again on the on the opposite bonfire side, which is where I'm standing. But that is a very, very good thing. It looks like they're putting way more pressure in the back line here as well. You see everyone trying to position and kill these healers in the back line. Healers, you guys need to move up like me here. Right now, I am on their side of the point, and it is extremely safe to heal. We're going to keep popping our regen potions here. Every time it's off cooldown, we have 20 seconds. We have 20 seconds here until our next regen potion is coming up. As you guys see here, look at this back line. Our back line is getting completely mauled here. You guys can put your eyes towards that and just watch our back line get absolutely rammed. As I'm safe to heal up here in the front of the actual point itself. Okay, we're going to keep healing this. we got to stack our intensify once more here. It looks like that are their kill squads are coming towards me. Okay, we see black pink there. So he's running towards the front of the point where I'm at. So we actually want to move back a little bit here. And we're actually going to heal this here and pop our oak flesh and stone form. We got shot by a bow shot for almost half our HP. Keep popping our intensify here. And just be aware of what's actually happening. So that guy tried to grab will us, which is no good for us. If we get caught in a gravel, that is very, very bad news here. We do have our regen potion coming up in one second here. Pop this again. You guys see their bows on the left side sandbags where my mouse is oh my goodness we ended up getting hit by that that was no good no good we do not want to be getting hit by their uh detonates there i did not see that detonate go up there is so much going on currently with animations in this war field it was very hard to see what was happening okay, we're actually going to keep moving back here we're going to go into our rapier and try to reposition out of here we are getting focused extremely hard by this blunderbuss fella and we want to make sure that we do not get caught back here against him okay so our point is getting completely obliterated it looks like we are just completely losing this point we might actually end up losing it and if we do end up losing it we want to make sure that the healers are the first one in the actual fort itself okay we're going to keep healing as much as we can here on the left and right side we are trying our hardest as much to keep our team nice and healthy with the a we heals but right now it's looking like very 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 bad news for our team 
Okay, it looks like they're going to call for a very big dive here. So I'm actually going to reposition up here. Try to get my beacon in as much as possible as my team is coming through. Also going to put some stakers on the bottom of the point here. It looks like we did actually end up stabilizing, which is extremely well for our team. As you guys see here, there is so much blue currently on the uh, actual point itself. So that means that our team completely stabilized. We have nothing to worry about. We are good to go. Okay, we want to pop our Intensify, keep popping it here, nice. We are still looking very, very solid on the heals here, especially with Rapier and Intensify stacking. It is a very fun playstyle, and uh, it actually keeps up with Void Gauntlet healing quite, quite well, especially with a lot of the survivability tools it has. Uh, as I like said before in one of my AOE healing guide videos, I do think that the Rapier with Intensify actually can output more heals if done properly, because one death with the Void Gauntlet is going to lose you about 150k uh, healing over time in the war, right? So you never want to doubt the Void Gauntlet, that is very bad news. But with the Rapier, it is extremely easy to survive. Anyways, back to the war here. They are starting to pressure extremely, extremely hard towards this uh, opposite bonfire side as our team progresses to move forward here on the left side. So we do not want to get caught up in this big fight that's about to happen here. We are going to just continuously heal in the back for free and watch all of the green on our screen as we heal everyone in the war with our AoE heals. So we do have our beacon coming up here. We do want to make sure we end up getting that in a nice spot. We put it on this melee here. Oh my goodness, that green is actually massive. I ended up getting a fat Saker there that ended up healing probably about 10, 15 people in that small clump there. We do have another one coming up. We are very close to the point. We're going to make sure we pull back a little bit, pop our regen potions as well. We got to watch the right side and the left side to make sure that we are not getting flanked as well. We had two very bad deaths this war that were easily preventable just by looking around. But this is my first time kind of shoutcasting and giving you a little perspective of what I'm thinking in a war. So I don't think my play is 100% going to be as active and as good as it is in my prior wars, okay? So anyways, we did pop our Oak Flesh there just in case we were getting dove. We do have about 20 seconds left and I probably should have saved it as I wasn't going to get hit. But as you see here, this point is starting to get massively, massively ticked. We wanna make sure we have Intensify. We're gonna keep healing the top of the point here as well. Put our Beacon, put our Sacred kind of on the middle of this point so our team has a place to dance around. As you see here, our team is starting to push up towards the top left of this point. We are still about a good 200k above the next AoE healer, which is perfect. This is the spot that we want to be in. Trap Chat is amazing at protecting their healers. They are amazing at forming the clumps and killing the clumps as well. Trap Chat right now has to be one of my favorite teams to heal for, just because they protect their healers and they kill their healers so well. All right, so this clump that's forming here in the forest is very dangerous for Trap Chat, the defending team in particular, because if we get wipes here, they can easily force their way onto the point and start ticking and put all of that point pressure down. As you see here, all our teammates are starting to run back quite a little bit, and that means that the war leader called for a retreat off of the forest. The forest is the area outside of the point where people like to push and try to get some kills and pad their stats, but that is also a very dangerous place to do that, because as I said, once you die you get and you get killed, the respawn wave that comes through can be easily shot down by the enemies. But anyways, off to the point here. We're just gonna keep stacking intensify, keep trying to heal these little clumps that form here. Oh, we got hit by that detonate. That was a very hard detonate to get hit by. Um, we're gonna pull back a little bit, heal this clump as well. So far, this war has been a very fun war to heal. We're gonna pop our stone from actually and regen and oak flesh as well. We do not want to get caught up in that business there. That was a very, very dirty clump to get uh, suck in. So as you saw there, I got screamed. I tossed, I put on my stone farm and I was very safe to go. We are still safe. That guy tried to scream me, but it's okay. I waited for the uh, Blunderbuss guy to toss on his cooldown so I could dodge out safely. And yeah, so Blind XO there, what he tried to do was scream me into an ice shower. That combo was very dangerous before the ice shower changes, but now it's very easy to dodge an iframe inside of an ice shower. So that combo is pretty much negated by the fact that I can iframe quite well. We're going to pop a region potion and we have been very slacking in the last two minutes here on popping them. Currently, the point once again is getting overran by the enemies here, uh, which is very bad news because like I said before, the war time of the spawns gets extremely long as the war progresses, right? So we want to make sure that we are on this point as much as possible, wait for respawns, and then dive the point as well. So here, we're just going to keep healing on the back line for free. Heal this left side, heal this right side as much as possible. We're not getting any value from our heals here. The clumps, they look like there's a lot, 
but it's actually just the enemies. Our allies are nowhere to be found, which is actually some bad news. As you see, the point is actually ticking in our enemy's favor. We, all, we ended up getting shot by that bow for almost half of our HP again, so we have to be very careful. Let's move to the right side here. Let's pop an oak push. Let's pop a region. Let's wait for our sacred to come out. We do have intensify stacks. The point is massively, massively safe with all of our heals on there currently. Right now, they are sending in respawns from the left side of the point. That means they're coming through bonfire side, so we have to be very careful here. We're going to move back a little bit and start healing from afar here. Keep stacking our intensify as well. And it looks like they are taking this point quite, quite a lot. I'm very interested to see how this war goes. We're going to pop our regen potion and oak stone farm here as well. We need to dodge and try to get out of this spot here because the bows in our in their uh, bonfire side, or sorry, opposite bonfire side, are starting to focus us. So very, very difficult here. Oh my god, Mystery White is going for the DNA play. We are getting pushed off of this point completely. It looks like we ended up actually getting wiped here. We're going to put one last sacred and we're actually going to try to survive as much as possible before we have to move forward and we actually lost the point which is a-okay we're gonna try to heal as much as possible before getting we're gonna put a sacred we, we want to get on top of the, the ramparts as much as possible here let's go let's go so once we are up here this is kind of our safe spot to heal we're gonna stack intensify real quick off of the dummy and we are going to see where this war takes us they are pushing this point extremely extremely hard here so we're gonna stack this as we move forward here trying to get our cooldowns out we ended up getting one set of cooldowns available off of the uh the front of this point here they're all gonna start walking in here this is very bad news for trap chat as soon as the team walks in here for free this is when this is their uh goal to end here as you see like the enemies are starting to just gather on the point we are going to try to heal from afar all the way up here as well our intensify stacks fell off we're going to try to heal and get our intensify stacks off of the dummies. Look at the point there. The point is getting extremely overrun with the enemies here. We're going to make sure that we keep the point nice and healthy as well. Kill the back point. That is the most important part. That is where a lot of enemies like to actually play in war. Also known as Hellside. So Hellside is getting overrun here by the enemies. They're looking to detonate. They're looking to get this point overrun in the back line. Okay, it looks like we're actually wiping them completely out here. This guy, the Blunderbuss player, is trying to get me from behind here. We're going to pop our stone form just to make sure that we have a nice way out for free without getting CC'd. We're going to move closer to the point here and actually save our cooldowns to heal up here as well. We're going to walk away with this guy. We're going to iframe his thing. We are going to make sure that we BM him a little bit. As you guys saw there, I tried to run away and I iframe his uh, shockwave as he tried to shockwave me. This guy, I know this guy, Blueberry Pop-Tart, a.k.a. Anonagon, a.k.a. Anal Goon. What's up, baby? Anyways, keep it going nice and slow war at this point. Defense wars are some of my favorite wars to heal because we pretty much just sit back, relax, and heal for free, baby, okay? So right now, I'm supposed to be B-Gate to heal. I'm assigned B-Gate to heal, but B-Gate is not down yet, so we're just going to kind of pad off of A-Gate until B-Gate is down. It looks like it's about one-fourth away from being back, but until then, A-Gate, my boy, you are going to be getting healed by me and Timmy Nolan as well. So B-Gate is about halfway through. There is no healing that needs to be done on B-Gate. We can check C-Gate maybe. C-Gate is fine. It looks like they're sending all rotations to B-Gate. A-Gate is starting to lose a lot of enemy players, which means that B-Gates or the side gates or any other gate can be starting, starting to take pressure, right? We are getting shot by somewhere. Hello, Un. So Un up there, I don't know how we got up there, but he is up there. He is going crazy with the bow. His bow shots are hitting me for almost 5k. That is insane. I know I don't have a lot of thrust protection, like I said, I probably have like 10. Because I'm running about 30% slash resistance due to all of these goddamn great swords. Anyways, B Gate is still not taken down yet. Still not looks like there is not a lot of healing to be need, needing to be done over there as well. So we're just gonna keep padding off of A Gate. We do have three minutes until the war ends as well. Which is very, very big news here. Because this means this point of the war. They have not gotten a lot of pressure. They are starting to come through B gate here and A gate and all of the sides. Sorry, not B gate. I meant D gate. You guys saw them all just skyrocket through. So we need to be very careful here. We need to get out of this clump. We need to make sure that we go on top of here as well. Oh, come on, baby. We got to start healing these little clumps here. We need to stack our intensify three times. Hit branches one time. There's a bug currently if you heavy attack with one of the new rune glass diamond gems in your weapon that it procs intensify three times when you only have to heavy attack one time which is massive we're gonna actually walk through here so we can reposition we're gonna pop stone farm as well because being in the back line right now is probably not the best place to be so we are chilling we are doing mighty fine 
Uh, looks like Seagate is taking a lot of pressure as well, so we're gonna try to heal this as much as possible. We put a save. We put a save here and a beacon down in a very nice spot. We're gonna restack intensify as well here. We're gonna auto attack the dummy for some cooldown reduction to get all of our cooldowns back up and rolling. Uh, where is all of the enemies at? Looks like there is still Seagate here, so we're gonna keep tossing our heals, keep stacking intensify, and making sure that our gates are 30% healed. Um, we're gonna keep looking around here. There's really nowhere that the enemies are forcing, except up here. So we're going to make sure that we heal up here as well. We're going to keep kind of tailgating our teammates to make sure that they are completely safe and not getting pressured a lot here. Right now, there is still a lot of people coming through the sea gates. Looks like they're all trying to force sea gate. It looks like detonates are going out, vines are going out. It looks like everyone is starting to try to pressure these gates as well. Look right here, there is a massive pump that I'm going to heal. Oh, my sacred is taking for 1600. That is a very juicy sacred to see. We're going to pop our stone farm here as well and make sure that we are not completely taking all this damage. <laughs> okay, we had to do the repose into the walk one time for the one time just to make sure Custom Stats knows who he's messing with, okay? You don't you don't go for a shockwave on Bad Moon Banana and expect to not get BM, okay? This is, that's just how we are around here. We do have to make sure that we BM everyone accordingly. Uh, the point is starting to get ticked heavily here. We gotta make sure that we are healing this point, actually. My gate was supposed to be B to heal, but I got caught up BMing, which you never wanna do in a war. You guys wanna make sure you are focused 100% of the time. And yeah, pretty simple war. We have 24 seconds left. Looks like they may just made their last push here. We're gonna pop stone from. We're gonna pop all of our consumables. We're gonna pop everything. There is no point to hold them now. Mana potion, try to get a nice, big old sacred in this clump here we're gonna just dance on the point here maybe we might die but it's all good it's okay the war is over eight seconds baby ggs in the chat thank you guys so much for watching today's video after this war i just want to say thank you guys for tuning in after we check the stats here thank you thank you thank you so much for watching today's video do not forget to like subscribe and comment this commentary full 30 minute commentary was insane okay we ended up getting top heels commentating against the best company right now Purple Tree Mode, aka Dawn Guard. We completely destroyed them, especially while commentating. We got rank one in the war. Let's go, baby. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a full war commentary of everything that was going on inside my head. But I just really wanted to say thank you guys once again for real here. And hopefully you guys like the content so far that has been provided on my channel. We do have a full AOE guide coming through for the boys. And I just wanted to say thank you guys. And once again, peace, baby.